Hey, Chris Bedan here. Let me show you how I go about routing the One Kit Wonder Modern Fusion Pack by Giga Drums. Okay, so as you can see, I only have one channel going right now. But I want to be able to route them to multi outputs so I can um, mix each track individually. So, first thing you got to do is in this output section here, and if this output section isn't showing, up here, you will see here, you can click on outputs and it'll show it for you. So on the output section, hit the plus sign and you'll see where it says quantity, number of channels, uh, number of channels we want stereo, and then quantity, we want that to be 16. Now you don't have to use all 16 channels, uh, but I just do 16 for ease of use. But uh, the next things that we need to check, which are very important, is delete existing channels before creating new ones, which deletes everything in here. So we'll click that and then also this one make this your default configuration so as soon as we check that anytime that we load up get good drums or we load up contact it's going to load up this output section for us which saves some time so do that hit ok tells us that it was made the default so now you can see how it made everything but we have to go off and label them so it matches this now the only thing that I do differently that um, you are more than welcome to do or do differently is I group or bus my toms together. So like rack toms and like floor toms and stuff. So what I'll do is, is match it basically what it says here except for the tom. So we'll do kick, snare, racks, floors, overhead, room. Okay, so that's done. Then what we want to do is we want to save current output section as the default for all formats. What that does is we initially saved it as the default, but it doesn't keep our naming convention, our new naming convention. So with this, it keeps all of that. Now we can go ahead and you know start routing things, but as you can see, it didn't save it. So what we need to do is we need to right click, remove track and instrument, and then we will bring contact back in. So now One Kit Wonder is loaded back up, and we can click here, and you can see that it kept our naming convention, which is awesome. But first, what we need to do is we need to tell it where to go. So under kick, you can see these are not. Um, set. So we have to come in here and since we did our naming convention and uh, exited and re-entered the contact it's going to keep uh, the naming as well so it makes life easier for us. So if you, as you can see basically you're just matching these up. So kick, kick. It's telling us to please re uh, close and reopen. Um, so we'll do that after. So now Basically just matching them up since we did that naming convention, like I said. So let me do this, and we will uh, continue on after that. Okay, so now we can uh, create our tracks over in Studio One, which is super simple. So simple in Studio One. So over here you can see where it says Contact. Now if this isn't showing for you, Right here you can see, you just click this button here. And then you click on the contact and you can see that everything is labeled just like we have it in contact, which is again the reason why we did the naming convention and then saved as the default um, after we labeled them. So now, just turn these on and you can see it makes the channels right for us, which is awesome. Buses it out and everything for us. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, routes it out for uh, for us and everything. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, route from the One Kit Wonder Pack into the output section uh, inside Contact, so it knows where this goes basically. So it's as easy as again, just matching shapes, snare, snare. Now again, since I labeled mine racks, I'm going to put the two rack toms in the rack section and then the one floor tom and the floor tom section. Then overheads and then room. All right, so now we're going to save the current output section state as default for the last time for all formats. That's gonna keep our routing. 
So then, once we play our groove, you can see that everything is routed. Everything is set up. We got overheads, we got rooms going, which is awesome. So then you can mix them individually and then bust them out, which what I would do is I would come here, click and hold shift, and then select all basically. Then come here, make them blue. I like to make my drums blue. Um, color coding inside um, when you're mixing helps a ton. But after I do that, while still selected, right click, add bus for selected channels. So now we have a drum bus or a drum group that we can then use as um, our basically drum mix. So then we can go off and add compression here and everything like that. And then I'll make this a little bit different color blue just so we know that that's the bus. And now we got our drums set up. So that's how you go about routing your drums inside the Studio One. If you guys have any questions, you can hit me up on Instagram at chris.badan or even here on YouTube. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, for more videos like this. But uh, that's it. Have a good day, guys. See ya.